Hey everyone, I just want to do a video here. I am in Belgium right now and we have just had our time of uh, sharing and uh, fellowship. Have you been good? Yeah! yeah. yeah. It's really good. Uh, it's in my sister's home here and it's so beautiful. And uh, I also met Johan. Yes. Again, I've seen him for years ago. And both of them said something that were, I, I want to share here mm. because it's very interesting. Mm. Uh, when I got released, you know what date it was? 18th of August. Because it was her birthday. Yeah. And when I came to, uh, got out of prison, came out, mm. I actually got my phone when I came to, to Europe and I called her to surprise, surprise. I was surprised. How, how was surprised. that? I was so surprised. I was just shaking. I couldn't believe it. I was crying. I was so overwhelmed. I felt so relieved just to hear that yeah. my friend was out. And, and that's yeah. the thing we talk about because you feel release. Yeah. And yeah. I, I met that again mm. and again when I've been traveling. I'm in, in uh, Belgium right now. Mm. We were in uh, Spain a few days ago. We were in Holland before that. And from here we are going to different countries. Mm-hmm. And again and again I met people who have been praying for me and, and standing together with me and felt released. Can you just share how, how, how was it just like? Well, if you know someone, I mean, we kn- knew you, so it, it came very close. It, it was as if our flesh was also in prison. Mm. Uh, so we were every day just thinking about you, praying for you. So we really felt like behind bars as well. And um, yeah, we felt your somehow we felt your pain we felt your family's pain and we were carrying that and every day we were hoping like this is so crazy tomorrow it will happen tomorrow he will be relieved but then it didn't really happen it took for a long time and as soon as it happened I I didn't have any words for it so all I could do was just crying and crying and crying and yeah Yeah. Yeah, so special and and you know it's 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 the bible like in in Hebrew chapter 10 we read there that you suffered along with those who yeah. was in prison. Yeah. You suffer along with people. And this is also, we are called to take part of Christ's suffering. Yeah. But we also part to take part of his uh, resurrection yeah. and the freedom that come yeah. after. And, and, and we, we talked about that. And then Johan um, t- told me something because then I came and he said something very interesting. What, what did you say? Now, in the beginning, we were really sad by uh, what happened to Torben. And, but after hearing his testimonies from the prison, we, were, we became bold in uh, preaching the gospel, in going on the streets, in uh, praying for other people. Uh, suddenly, we could do things that before we didn't dare, like speaking to police officers or uh, to people we... Uh, we're not used to talk to yeah, so that. we were really encouraged to to talk yeah. to them to to pray for them to to share mm-hmm. Jesus with them yeah. and and the big problem that uh, looked big in the beginning suddenly they looked really small yeah. and we could uh, go further and further and the Holy Spirit started to work much stronger much bigger in our life than even before mm-hmm. so uh uh, Torben um, had had a lot of pain, and uh, and in the prison. But uh, we were really encouraged by his testimonies in the, from the prison. Yeah. And, and you know, there also we read. I remember when I was in prison, I read, of course, everything that was about prison in the Bible, and there's a lot. Uh, but then Philippians, you see, Paul he said that through my chains. My brothers have experienced even a greater boldness to mm-hmm. proclaim the gospel. Mm-hmm. And, and we should think it was the opposite. Let's say it like this. Let's say you, you have a brother or a leader of the church or somebody who's been put in jail. You should think automatically that, oh, oh we need to be careful now. We need to uh, not do anything because otherwise they're coming after us. But the opposite happened. Instead, we experience a boldness. Yeah. Why? Because our persecution in the light of the other persecution is nothing. Yeah. Yeah. We don't let fear dictate our lives. We don't let fear. And, and, and you thought also, like, my issues is maybe small compared to things Torben 
went through. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And you know what? While I was in prison, I was thinking of all the people who have been in prison. Mm -hmm. And of course, we look at Christ and I thought, what do I have to complain? Mm -hmm. Because my suffering is still nothing compared to what Jesus went through. Mm -hmm. Or my suffering is nothing like what Paul went through. Mm -hmm. If you look at those times, he went down with a ship and got whipped and, mm -hmm. and put in jail and so on and so on. So, so it's all real. Mm -hmm. It's what we read in the Bible. So it's beautiful. But we had a good fellowship tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Can, can I go around? Can I film you? <laughs> I, I met our friends here and, um, and it's so beautiful. Just very short. It's so amazing to hear. <laughs> Last time I saw them was very short uh, before I left Denmark in 2019. They were on, on the Pioneer, no, on Lutein School in Denmark. <laughs> And and they have just been living the life. And how many years have you been in church before we? You... Yeah, we were forty-four years. Forty-four in, in years. Yeah. How how many people did you baptize and pray for and set free? And... In those forty-four years, yeah, nobody. nobody, nobody. The last few years since you experienced this life, how many people have you been baptized in oh. there? One hundred and three. One hundred and three. One hundred and three. And you are discipling people at yeah. this group. Just a short story. How is this life? What is happening? Well, it's it's very exciting. We are on the first road to see what God is doing. And yeah, even today we uh, were with our, our friend Geert and we baptized uh, a lady yeah. who wanted to, to, uh, to experience more the Holy Spirit. But then it came out, she also was in church and uh, for a long time, that she uh, did not Never repent bad. from her sins. Yeah. So she repented, we baptized her, wow. and now she is starting free. all over and free. And yeah, yeah. it is marvelous. And, 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 and they have so many, many from New Age. How many from New Age have you wow. seen? A lot of them. The most, the most are <laughs> yeah. from New yeah. Age. From so street. most people yeah. is out on those hundred and some is most from the street and yeah. most from New Age background exactly. and so on. Exactly. But we also see people like, like you and other people. You have been... In church for years, yes. you are actually an elder in the church, yeah. or you're a missionary, you're preaching somehow, but yeah. you are not free. Can no. you explain that very short? Uh, you can do all the good things, you can say all the good things, but you can uh, be only on the on the outside a Christian and not from the inside, because I I I was 32 years a good evangelical Christian, but there was sin in my life and uh, I needed to repent from that sin and, uh, and just almost two years ago I started a new life with Christ and I'm free from my sin now and I experience that there is fruit on the work that I do and before there was no fruit so uh, yeah you can be in church but not be a disciple of, the G of Jesus and that is a big, a big thing Beautiful. I'm free now free now powerful And uh, what you said is, is very often, is a call, you go in and go to the altar call, you ask forgiveness for sin, and then you're back in the old sin next week, and you go and do the same again without really experience the new birth and the freedom. So, yeah. But it's so beautiful. We are on the road. It's so nice to be out again and, and to see how the gospel is growing here in Europe. We have every, every country, there is networks, there's house fellowships, there is like here. And it's growing, like it's growing, new people come to faith, we have been growing a lot the last four years while I have been in America, five years. And just see now how it's growing and in multiplication, in new house fellowships, but also people are growing in their personal walk with God. So it's so beautiful. So now we are going to uh, France. And, uh, and, and meeting some people there and doing some house meetings there at different places. And then from there we move on to uh, Switzerland and other places on this road trip. God bless you all. <laughs>